Well, good morning. We are uh, we're back in Lassen Park, and I waited it out this morning for the sunrise, and and got a good show over uh, Lake Almanor back there, and um, kind of the surrounding area down below Lassen Park. So pretty excited. Um, here's what happened: the uh, the road did not close after that last little storm. And, um, I went home and looked at that video about a hundred times. Right. And you know how you like overthink stuff. I mean, there's, there's this funny thing, especially with trail cam footage where, uh, you, you know, you put a picture online or something and, uh, you got all these experts coming out of the woodwork, diagnosing, you know, the animal, first of all, telling you all about it, whether it's pregnant or not, whether it's skinny or not, where it's going, what it's doing. They tell you all about the the other animals in the background of the trail cam uh, photo that you're like, come on. If you look at a thousand trail cam photos a week, like I do, um, you kind of know that's, that's silly, right? But people love to do that. So I'm hoping that's not what this is, <laughs> but you want to, you want to analyze everything you can. So I started looking at that uh, footage and I sent that clip off to the biologist who put the collar on that that animal and she said she's pretty sure that that is the female of the three in Lassen Park that they collared there was there was one female and based on the markings and stuff she said uh she thinks that's that's the one they called F5 so um she thinks it's a female and I looked at the video again after that just to kind of look at the markings and see what's unique about it right it's got like dark feet I guess that might be part of what she was seeing there but um, looking at the path of travel through that little area, it was definitely not moving up that trail or that corridor. It was going over into that, uh, sort of rocky cave like area. So all of a sudden now I'm thinking in my head, you don't just have a trail cam clip of a Sierra Nevada red Fox. You got a trail cam clip of a female Sierra Nevada red fox potentially looking at what I would call a potential den site, right? So I, you know, mulled that over for a while and I thought, man, wouldn't it be good to know going back in the spring um, if that's true, if that was actually a place this thing was like camping out or one of many, you know, areas where they would take shelter. Um, and I thought, well, I actually have the opportunity to find that out because the road didn't close. Um, the park's still open. It's Halloween morning, by the way. Happy Halloween. But we're back up here on October 31st, and I'm going to set up a camera, and I'm going to leave it for the winter. So at least one. I brought a couple with me, and uh, I'm going to come back in the spring, and I'm going to know if uh, if these critters are coming and going from this spot. Um so hopefully it'll really narrow down for me um, whether or not this is a, a camera trap location or not, uh, if they're coming and going regularly. So I waited it out for the sunrise this morning, man. It's a good one and got some photos already, uh, but I'm going to head back up to this spot I've been going and I'm going to see if I can get a camera somewhere where it'll be up out of the snow at least for a couple months. And uh, we're going to come back in the spring and find out if this is actually a spot where they're, they're spending any significant time. So it seemed like the potential is there and uh, I didn't want it to be a mystery. So we're back. Let's go snurfing. So if you look at that video, there's this sort of, uh, this sort of stick that points right at the, the fox. When it goes over onto the right side, and then it kind of jumps down into that area. Um, so I want to go find exactly where that, that is and see exactly where it was going. Um, my thinking is I can get a camera up on sort of the high side of that little indentation in the ground and potentially keep it up out of the snow for a longer period of time. Um, there is a storm in the forecast that looks like the real deal. You know, these, these last ones were 
kind of maybe it might snow might close the road um and they kind of petered out but there's a storm coming tomorrow that they're forecasting to be pretty legit so i think we're gonna lose our chance if we don't get in here today so that's what we're doing i'm gonna make it happen and i'm kind of excited to come back in the spring with something to actually look at you know i'm so glad to be back here thinking about it but this is the tree the camera was on right it's looking that way so that the trail cam video is like this pretty much um right hard to see here but right up here is this uh sort of stick with a distinct curve that you can make out in the shadows of that video right so well first of all just look at this like this is the path of travel this is the way around this area and this is like a bowl up here you know nobody's gonna nobody's gonna go that way to just pass through when you could be going that way right so at the very least i think that fox was going down into that hole on this evening right at least on this one this one moment um so here's kind of the angle this is that curvy stick right so i think that fox was on this rock right here and it it jumped right like down here um I mean, that's not the way you go if you're trying to keep moving through the woods. So maybe I was just taking a nap in here on that evening. Um, but I think that thing was on this rock. And I think it hopped down to that log. Um, and then who knows? I mean, they're, they're four-wheel drive critters, right? But I just remember when I was in this spot the first time, and I was over here just looking at the the trails and stuff that that come down into that area and I was seeing I was seeing tracks I mean it could be ground squirrels it could be a lot of things but then when I got that video it just it was haunting me so my thought is the snow's coming it's gonna get big but I've got spots potentially up here on this on this ledge where i could shoot a camera this way and see anything coming and going on this side um without the snow getting my camera um as this thing fills up so i'm gonna try to get over here maybe on this log up here maybe a little lower on the cliff somewhere and uh get a camera pointing over this way maybe over here somewhere i'll do a second um i don't know but i gotta check it out i gotta give it a shot so we can come back in the spring and and see um so let's get over to the other side and see what we can uh what we can figure out over there maybe a peek down in there as we move around it's definitely shelter down there you know I mean there's a couple different entry points down into the rocks potentially more over there it's uh it's a good spot to spend the winter so I gotta know right all right I see a couple of claw marks and a, a fox-sized foot right there, man. I think, I think that's the first documented snurf track from me. I'm fairly confident in that. But what do I know? I 
All right. This is one of the one of the sketchier uh, trail cam deployments I've ever done here, but that over there is uh, the tree that our camera was on. So that's the path, that's the log, that's the hole, and I'm on the I'm on the side of the cliff over here. Um, but I think I found a rock, so. I'm gonna strap my camera to this, even though it moves a little. Um, I might kind of tuck it in this, in this crack right here, sort of looking, sort of looking like that. Um, and I think that'll give us a look at that side where I think the, the main entry would kind of be. Um, and we'll know. So it's gonna be a one-handed, a one-handed deal because I gotta hold on up here, but we'll get it done. All right, my apologies for not uh, for not being able to video all that, but this is what I got going. Um, cam's here, and uh, it's gonna be looking across. I need to uh, I need to tighten it up and stuff a bit, but. That rock is plenty stable. I can get it to move, but the wind and the snow and the you know weather are not going to move it. So I'm happy with it. But I gotta I gotta prop it a little bit, and then I gotta go over there and trip it, and then I gotta come back over here and see if it's uh, angled right. Okay, I didn't like that at all. But here we go. There's the camera right and the rocks right there and it looks like it's pointing in about the right place um this is uh that log the curvy stick and where he kind of went um she kind of went so that's going to get straight over here i'm going to go over there and see if i'm tripping it with motion now and uh Probably leave it if I am, because it's kind of hard to get mounted, but hopefully it'll get anything over in this spot from that side. And it should stay out of the snow. I've got a nice umbrella over it here with this tree, and it's way up off the ground, so it's not going to get too buried, I don't think. We can hope. All right, that was a fail. Uh, all my dancing around over there uh, camera was over here and I, I didn't I didn't trip it so too much distance a little bit too far so square one uh, I'm gonna look at my other options here well like 25 30 minutes later I'm still not able to get that thing mounted I'm like there's just there's nothing to attach it to I'm struggling bailing wire is normally enough and it's just not enough still looking for a rock face here where i can be looking over there um we'll get there eventually something like this would would work um but there's too much ground underneath it the snow will just bury it i gotta find an overhang that i can wrap wire around but there isn't one, except that one. It's hard to mount a camera on that thing. All right, this is like all kinds of sketchy. That camera is like perched on the corner there. And uh, I got bailing wire running around this rock and kind of pinched in there with rocks I've stacked on it. It's on and it's pointing, I think in the right way. I'm gonna walk over there. I wish, I wish it was pointing a little higher up on this hill, I think it's more centered down here but i'm gonna go look at it i don't see any way to do any better than that man it's it's a hard spot but a couple ground squirrels could potentially ruin my my winter experiment here but i'm hoping they don't we just got to go with it i'm gonna see if i trip it now but this would be like the entry exit 
seems like we're a whole lot closer to that camera than we were to the other one. So I'm gonna have the critters down here. Uh, we might get it. So let me see if I'm tripping it. And we'll call that good if uh, if it's good. I'm not sure where else I could even mount it over there. So it's a little bit sketchy, but I think it might hold. So we shall see. Um, this is definitely the spot where that little lady jumped in there. So I'm assuming again, this was the rock she was on. She leapt down to like there out of my frame. So now we got a camera there. I gotta assume she had to go down here. Um, so my camera is basically looking at that little landing right there, which is probably the best I could do. It's way up above the ground as far as the snow goes. So as long as those batteries hold out, it should catch stuff. I'm gonna have to just walk away and hope and pray that it stays put and gets some action. So that should help us know in the spring um, whether or not we uh, actually found a good spot here. So. Super happy with this chance to get back up here and give it a shot, and uh, we will we'll know, you know, as long as that camera gets gets some video uh, or not. If if it sits there all winter and and doesn't move and doesn't get video, then we know this is maybe a not as good of a spot as as we thought. But it'll give us a leg up anyway in the spring, and we can resume the quest. So say goodbye to that little camera. Where is it from here? I can't tell backwards, but say goodbye to that camera and we'll, we'll pick it up in probably May. I mean, it's going to be a long time. Um, the road usually opens the end of May, mid to end of May. And, um, we'll, uh, we'll come up here as soon as we can and, uh, see when it stopped recording. I've, I've been getting several months out of those batteries. So I expect it to go most of the distance through the winter. So enough for us to know something. There we go. What's exciting about this for, for me is that we're going from a real broad, uh, like game trail sort of setup, hoping to catch something. Um, we're going to a very specific, we're hoping to see a Sierra Nevada red fox sitting right there. Um, that's the leap we gotta make for the move to the to the camera trap right so if we're if we're good enough already to know that 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 camera may pick up a fox right there um then the the potential for getting a good camera trap shot uh goes way up so let's hope <laughs>